Hey everyone, it's Rock for Cash, People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. And welcome back to the channel. This week we will review week 13 of the FNFL, the last week before the finals. But before we get into that, we're going to have a bit of a song playing in the background. An old favourite of Cash's, uh, hasn't heard it in a long time, Jace Everett, Bad Things, the old True Blood theme song. So let's just have this playing in the background. Alright, let's see what happened in week 13 of the FNFL. Okay. First of all, Rock for Cash, 111.20, beat Team Mazza, 100.42. Um, close game up until probably the Monday Monday afternoon game. Um, Cash seemed to put his head in front there. Mazza finished his games. Um, had Des Bryant ready to go for uh, his game back um, against Dallas, and the guy got... Uh, COVID or the influenza so yeah he scored a zero cash couldn't do anything about that one cash was actually on target if he'd got over double figures Des he'd be the only team this year to have every player on his list get into double figures but it didn't happen so let's just see who did well for each team rock for cash Aaron Rodgers 21 and a half um, Johnson 10 Galman 13 Diggs 14 Cup 11 Ebron 10 Butker 15 and the Giants, 15. For Team Mazza, Mahomes, the GOAT, 18.32. Akers, 15. Hopkins, 15. And the Dolphins, 16. So, bad luck to Team Mazza. Second time the Cash has uh, got over the top of him this year. He's bitterly, bitterly disappointed in the way his team uh, just will not fire for him. Uh, as uh, the Dark Side said, as far as he's concerned, Team Mazza has the best team on paper, but... The Seas just won't play for him, he says. So Team Mazza has got a bit of work to do now coming into the finals, but a uh, great win by the Cash. Won the first games, won the last game of the season, so he's ready to fire for the finals also. Uh, in the next game, um, it's a very, 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 very one-sided game. The Dark Side won 66.16, defeated Smooth Criminal 98.90. Um, yeah, this is was an absolute shellacking, this one. What's that? 68 points, the difference. That's just unbelievable. This is, this is from the, um, from our, uh, Duty Bowl champion. She's, uh, fallen in a heap, really. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know where she goes from here. It's, uh, it's a real... Real travesty to see such a great coach go down, um, but you've got to you've got to give um, credit to the dark side. They um, have played well all year, um, so yeah. I mean that that is a great score: one hundred and sixty six point one six to ninety eight point nine zero. Um, for the dark side, a lot of contributors here: Tannehill twenty four, Carson eighteen. Gaskin, 13. Adams, 29. Davis, 29. Kelchi, 23. The Packers, 13. For uh, Smooth Criminal, Josh Allen, having a great year, 29. Thomas, 15. Ridley, 13. Hawkinson, 11.9. Um, yeah, I think I've said as much as I can. Well done to the dark side. Great effort by them. Their second year in the comp. Their second year being the minor premier. So let's hope that they have a better run than they did the first time round. But um, great effort to finish on top of the ladder. Smooth criminal, licking her wounds at the moment, really. Just uh, don't know what to say. In the next game, Moneymakers, 118.26, beat Shiva, 83.64. So a 35-point win there to uh, the Moneymaker. Um... Cash may have uh, got this one wrong. He thought Shiva might have got a bit of an upset in this one, but, um, yeah, didn't quite get the chocolates. For Moneymakers, who's playing really well at the moment, 19.8 for Robinson, 22 for Jefferson, 11 for Tonyan, 22 for Jones, 11 for the Cuckoo Kachu, and 15 for the Colts. For Shiba Kamini, Roethlisberger, 18, Kamara, 16, Landry, 16, and Cooper, 13. So, yeah, <clears throat> Moneymakers... On a four-game winning streak, probably as good as probably uh, the Killers at the moment. Uh, Shiva Kamini got a bit of work to do, but you know, finals are a funny thing. So we'll just see what happens. 
In the next game, a little waders just fell short to uh, the Browns, 91.02 to 94.14. It really came down to Justin Tucker needing to um, get 13 or so points, and he only got nine on the Wednesday game. So it actually reshaped the uh, this week's finals. Um, yeah, a win to the little little waders would have uh, probably seen uh, a different set of uh, games. But uh, well done to the Browen. He um, now he's a dangerous team. Don't write him off. Um, but yeah, well done to you, Brown. <clears throat> in the next game, Young Remix Killers on their way, their eighth win in a row, 131.78 to Archie's All-Stars, 106.64. The Arsehole has fallen out now. It's official. The Arsehole has fallen out of the Alter Boys. They've lost five in a row. Like I said, the Killers have won eight in a row. Um, the Killers were led beautifully, um... Taysom Hill got 21, Cook 20, Chubb 17, Johnson 17, Montgomery 25, Sanders 10, Farchi's All-Stars, Derek Carr had a big game, 29.74, Elliott 11, Drake 12, Woods 13, Robinson 10, and Julio 12.4. Um, yeah, I just think that, you know, the young remix killers are probably equal to the team to beat at the moment and Archie's also has got to stop pounding those altar boys he's just an out of control animal at the moment and he is destroying destroying his team uh from the back end so yeah i just think that um this was a probably a the game was decided before the actual first bounce really in the final game um little river giants back to some form 89.74 uh, Mitch's Mungle 67.52. Um, Mitch's went into this game on top of the ladder. They didn't finish on top of the ladder. They uh, dropped the last game. So, uh, But Little River Giants playing well at the moment. They've won two in a row. And for them, Goff got 23. Hill got 11. Higby got 10. And Gallup got 18. For the Mungrels, Murray got 14. And McKissick got 12. So not much there. I think uh, the Mungrel may have... Uh, Missed the boat a little bit and not um, checked his team before most of his players had played because I saw there were a lot of changes on the Monday. So, yeah, I think uh, he who snoozes loses, Min. So, <clears throat> didn't finish first. All right, so let's just recap that. Rock for Cash were over Team Mazza. Dark Side over Smooth Criminal. Money Makers over Shiva. Browns over Little Waiters, the Killers over Archie's All-Stars, and the Giants over Mitch's Mongrels. So that's pretty much the provisional rounds. All rounds thir 1 to 13 are done and dusted. We now have a final ladder going into the final series. And like I said, congratulations to the Dark Side who finished on top. 10 wins, 3 losses. They were followed closely by Young Remix Killers in second spot, 9 and 4. Mitch's Mungles dropped two spots to be 9 and 4. And Little River Giants are 9 and 4. So top four teams all separated by one game. In fifth spot were Moneymakers on 8 and 5. Little Waiters in sixth spot on 7 and 6. Smooth Criminal in seventh spot on 6 and 7. Shiva Kamini in eighth spot, 5 and 8. Archie's All Stars, ninth, 4 and 9. The Browns 10th, 4 and 9. Rock for Cash 11th, 4 and 9. And our uh, bottom team at this point, Team Mazza 3 and 10. So a lot going on. Um, quick little bit of a preview of what's happening in the first week of the finals. Uh, the Dark Side, Young Remix Killers, Mitch's Mongols, and Little River Giants do not play this week. They have a bye. So what that leaves is um, <clears throat> uh, Money Makers in fifth spot will take on Team Mazza in twelfth spot. Uh, Little Waiters in sixth spot will take on Rock for Cash in eleventh spot. Uh, Smooth Criminal in seventh spot will take on the Browns in tenth spot. That'll be a beauty. And the final game will be Shiva Kamini in 8th spot, taking on Archie's All-Stars in ninth spot. So have a quick look at what's happening in the NFL. Um, tomorrow's game, the New England Patriots are playing the Los Angeles Rams at 12.20. 
uh, on the Monday, a few of the late games. We've got uh, the Jets and Seahawks, Colts and Raiders at 8.05, Washington and the 49ers, Saints and Eagles, Falcons, Chargers, Packers, Lions, all at 8.25. Uh, the Steelers and the Bills, the late 12.20 game on the Monday, and the game on the Tuesday are the Ravens and the Browns. So that pretty much sums up the review of Week 13. Well done to all that won this week. Uh, well done to the top four. Well done to the dark side. Uh, as we head into uh, FNFL Week 14, the first week of the finals, basically the four teams that lose um, this week go into Sacco land. So, yeah, you'd want to win this week, I think. That's, like I've said many, many times, it's not a great place to be, Sacco land. I've been there. Uh, and it's a, it's a scary place. So, um, yeah, with that said, that's week 13 done and dusted. Uh, we're on to week 14 starting tomorrow. So get your teams in. Hope you have uh, a good week 14. Hope your team wins unless you're little waiters. All right, guys, that's the cash out.